I want to talk to you about why a narcissist might block you. And if you've ever had that happen, many reasons why they might do this and what it kind of feels like for you. So if you don't know who I am, I am Lisa Colucci. I want information. You can check it out in the main description of every video. Lots of info for recovering from anything related to narcissism. Somebody asked the question. They said, why would this narcissistic person who has been so horrible to me block me when I'm the one that should be blocking them? And when I did block them, why did they block me? You know, so, so there's lots of reasons that they might block you. First of all, um, it's a way to devalue you. If a narcissist blocks you, it's basically like um, diminishing your importance. It is a punishment like the silent treatment. So they might block you to make you feel like you're being punished, make you feel if they know that if they make you feel like you are in trouble, you're being punished, you're um, not... Um, you're not in in their in their what is it like on their good side, so to speak, that you will then pursue them and give them supply. When you do that, we come to the next point, it makes you look like you're stalking them. It makes you look crazy. If they can make you look crazy and to anyone that they talk to, spin the story so that you look like the one who's got a problem and they look innocent when they've been the one manipulating you and hurting you all along. Okay. They want to make you feel worthless sometimes in the devalue. Like you just don't have any importance whatsoever. And so block, right? Another reason they might block is to play the victim. They might block you to um, look completely innocent when in fact they should be taking accountability for something, especially if they know that they should be taking accountability for something. In the instance of something where they've gone too far, they've pushed things too far, they've said things that is too much, they've gone, they've done something where they could be publicly called for some, called out for something, they have gotten physical with you, they have um, gotten caught red-handed doing something like cheating, lying, stealing, whatever they're doing to you. Um, they know, they know that it that that this from this point forward, they have to be accountable for what they've done. They won't be accountable. So oftentimes or sometimes they might block you to play victim. They are preemptively making us so they're the victim. I had to block her. She got crazy. I had to block him. He got crazy, whatever. Right. And oh, well, I heard that you, you know, you were screaming in their face. And that's why that's what happened. Oh, you'd scream in their face, too, if you had someone crazy like that coming after you. I mean, it was so bad I had to block them. That's how they make it seem. Another reason that they might block you, they can use another means to hoover you that way, that you are blocked so that you can't contact them. And then they send in flying monkeys. It's not their fault. They didn't have anything to do with it. I have you blocked, right? But it's a way to keep the, to make it a perceived image of distance and uh, not wanting to have any contact with you when in fact they're going to send in other people to do their bidding. So there's another reason. If they have blocked you, oftentimes it's because they've received a narcissistic injury. All right. And when the narcissist receives a narcissistic injury, that's when they're forced to look in the mirror. When they have to look in the mirror and face themselves, they lash out at everyone around them. They lash out at the people that they can blame. If you are in any way in their sphere of influence at that point in time, you may get blocked. I mean, it, it, Here's the thing. Yay, they blocked you, right? Let them go. Good riddance. Goodbye. Block them back and move on, right? Get over these trauma bonds. Heal yourself. All the good stuff comes after this. However, this can be the thing that creates it so you can't feel the feeling of closure because why the heck would they block you, right? You're the one that should be blocking them. And a lot of people, when they have this happen, have told me things like, well, now I can't let it go. Now I feel like there's some loose end out there, something open, some some something I did, you know, or something that they've made me feel like I'm the problem. You see, there's all these reasons that they do this, which have nothing to do with you. It has to do with the narcissist trying to get away with it, trying to twist things, confuse things, manipulate things. OK, if you have any questions about why a narcissist is blocking you, let me know in the comment section. 
or if you want to talk about it, or if you have other reasons to add to it, why they might block you, hit, hit me up in the comment section and let me know. And we'll talk about it um, more there. Otherwise, if you've been blocked, if you are feeling that feeling of lack of closure, of lack of understanding of why they did this, try to realize it's just another manipulation tactic. It's just another reason and another means of keeping you under their spell to keep you trapped in giving them supply, whether it be from the periphery where you never talk to them again, but they know you're thinking about them or directly by then hoovering you later. If you need any help with coaching, hit me up. It's in the main description of every video. Also group coaching is ongoing. Come join us if you need it. It's in the main description of every video, how to get to it. That's three times a week. And yes, you can come to as many as you like. Take care. Bye-bye.